Did I overhear correctly? Faharajad asked you to go to Evermore? Sounds like that place is shaping up to be a real trouble spot. I wish I could come along, but the guild's got me doing something else. Probably not nearly so interesting. Of course. That's a big city, though. Wouldn't want to drop you on top of some unfortunate merchant. How about the bridge right outside the gates? Hmm. I've heard the Reachmen are at the gates. But that could just be a figure of speech. One portal to the gates of Evermore right here for you. Good luck. From what I've heard, you're gonna need it. I tell you, things grow darker here by the damn hour. Reachmen are right down there. Came in by boat, took the lighthouse, and now they're crawling up in the woods to assess our defenses. And our orders are to just sit here and watch. Captain Huron's fought the bastard's leader before, Strasnok. He says we're outmatched and we have to just wait them out. I say the captain's a few links shy of a full chain. With our defenses weakened, we can't risk waiting. Absolutely. Captain's ordered us to hold back, but not you. And he did say we need more outside help. Morale's been down in the dung heap since King Aemon died. If you can lop off this Strasnok's head, it'd be an inspiration to the men. I won't lie to you, friend. Things are grim. The king and his heirs are dead. Our forces decimated. Crows are everywhere. People have lost hope. Bring Strasnok's head to Captain Huron at the South Gate. That'll be a big win for us. I don't know if you picked the best time to visit Evermore, but if you know how to use that weapon, I expect you will be treated as an honored guest. Please excuse me, though. I must see to my duties. Ah, my true king. I knew he had not forgotten us. I am certain there are many ways you can help. You should speak to Duke Renchant if you haven't already. Oh, and Queen Argella's handmaiden. She's very sharp. I, for one, am very glad Faharajad sent you. Many here and evermore believe the rest of the Covenant has forgotten us. So you're the one wreaking havoc down there among those hawkers. I've tangled with a reachman or two in my day, and my helmet's off to anyone who charges into their ranks that way. Don't suppose you've come to enlist in the town guard, have you? You have old Strasnok's head? Shows bones. Somebody buy this crazy bastard a cup of mead. If you like to cut off reachman heads, you've come to the right place, my friend. Have you met Duke Renchant? The Duke will want to meet you. Good. Take your time, though. Rest up. You've earned it. The Duke will know of your deed, and you can go see him in the castle when you're ready. He'll reward you well. Might even offer you my job. It's yours if you want it. If you have a moment, I would appreciate a word. Pardon my intrusion, but... I would speak to you on behalf of Queen Argella. I am her handmaiden. The Queen has heard of your recent accomplishments, and she asked me to make a private request on her behalf. He is. The Queen stepped aside, but she remains the rightful ruler of the kingdom, and she still cares deeply for its people. Even now, in mourning, she attends to wounded soldiers and refugees in the chapel, but she has other concerns as well. Quite frankly, she's concerned about the city's defenses, but of course, she cannot publicly question the Duke's policies. This is why we were hoping you could discreetly investigate to see if there's any merit to some of the rumors we've heard. Her Majesty would ask you to inspect the defenses at the East Gate and ask the former guard captain, Sir Jarnet, for his assessment of the Duke's strategy. If you are willing, the Queen also wishes to know why a refugee was put in the stocks. 
I know Her Majesty would appreciate if you gave these matters the highest priority. After you've completed your investigation, come speak to the Queen at the Chapel of St. Pelin. If there are problems, she should know as soon as possible. This is absurd. I've committed no crime. And they're just gonna leave me here. I would say to rot, but I will never get that chance. I'll be speared through when the city is taken. Then these damn crows will eat my remains. For speaking the truth, nothing more. The Imperial Army has just conquered the largest city in southern Bankerai. And mark my words, they will come here next. Because I have just come from Hollandstad. The Imperials infiltrated the city and seized it overnight. They enslaved half the population. They will do the same here. But when I suggested this to the guards, they locked me up. They said I was spreading half-truths and paranoid delusions. They said the people here have had enough fear with the Reachmen, and cannot afford to hear my ravings. Please, you must get me out of here. I don't want to be eaten by crows. The truth is silenced. It is the people who are shackled. The people eye the north with fearful eyes, but it's from the south that the storm approaches. With an open mind, one hears truth, however dark it may be. No! The telling has already been done. I am here to listen and to watch. I'm a crow. What more do you need to know? Ah, the hero of Koblen Village. Very impressive. Trinkets, but the box has not been opened. The time for gifts has not yet come. Great gifts often appear as a surprise, but sometimes the surprise should be spoiled. I know what I see, but it is not me who needs to know. It's you. I know this is a desperate city in desperate times, but this is not the gift the city needs. And red diamond protect us till the end. The laughing heart spray blood of Who are you? Can't you see I'm having a drink with my friend here? Might as well embrace the crows. They're here to stay. If anyone goes, it'll be us, not them. With 15 guards and a couple quivers of arrows? Not a chance. Everyone's dead. The king, the prince, the knights and soldiers. The job's almost done, just a few stragglers left. You know who I'm talking about? Me and you, that's who. Renchant? Sure. He's realistic, at least. He knows we can't last a day unless we get some help from the outside. Of course, the new guard captain, Huron, doesn't seem to want any help. The loud brushed off an offer from the Fighters Guild. Sure enough, Huron said he's exploring other options. Don't know what those options are. Don't hear much down here, though. Say, why don't you ask the crow? I swear the thing's talking. Probably knows more than we do. More than me, at least. When there's no knowledge in the tops of towers, check the bottoms of bottles. One can witness the larger view from on high. But one must come down below to see what hides in shadows. The light hides in shadows, but...
but only there can it shed on secrets. A secret told is no secret, but all knowledge has its time. Nobody cares at all. So much suffering. So much death. Like my husband and my children, this soldier gave her life forevermore. I wish I could offer her more comfort, but I can only pray with her to gods whose mercy I have come to doubt. Many others are enduring similar losses. I deserve no more compassion than they do. In truth, Knowing they share my grief has been a great consolation. You are not here for grieving, though. Is there some official business that demands my attention? Oh, of course. Glarica told me. I hope you'll forgive her. Her intentions are good, but she misled you. That request was not on my behalf. She can't seem to accept my decision to step aside and let Duke Renchen handle all matters of state. I would, but at another time. I hope you understand. Losing my family, I just need time, and I believe this is how I can best serve the people right now. If you have concerns about security, though, you must report them to the Duke. Thank you for respecting my wishes. Perhaps you can convince Glarica to do the same. She's already off again, investigating some ship at the docks. These matters are the Duke's concern now, and he has my support. He'll appreciate your help, though. That is indeed an immense relief, Yorin. Give us room to breathe. But it doesn't mean we can rest on our laurels. I know. It's only one victory, Your Grace. But I hope it's a sign of more to come. I do too, but that's going to require more work on both our parts. And, and there's nothing for it but to get it done. You're dismissed, Captain. Aha! Uh -huh. You must be the hero whose bold deeds Captain Huron was just recounting. Retaking the lighthouse may seem trivial, but in times like these, it's huge. Say, you look like someone I've been hearing quite a bit about. May I ask your name? As I expected, your reputation precedes you. You've become something of a legend in the kingdoms of the Daggerfall Covenant. You're certainly welcome in Evermore. These are desperate times. Have you seen much of the city? Indeed. Then by all means, tell me what you discovered. So you saw those? You are very perceptive. The truth is that we found an ally to help defend the city. I'm not quite ready to make this information public, though. Yes, that is the ship that transported the supplies. There are more supplies being offloaded even now. Please, if you'll just be patient, I'll share all the details in due time. For now, you must stay away from that ship, though. It's off limits. I opened our gates to the refugees, but there are limits, and that man was completely mad. Standing outside the castle, shouting that we were all going to die? The people of Evermore are terrified already. We can't afford such nonsense. Oh, yes, I'm well aware of this. It's unfortunate, but the terms the Guild demanded were downright rapacious. Furthermore, the number of mercenaries they could actually muster was almost insignificant. It simply wasn't worth it. Listen, I can tell that you have an inquisitive nature, and I know your intentions are good, but... I cannot risk revealing all my plans just yet. Suffice to say, I've found a way to protect the city from the Reachmen, and that is what matters. I'm sure that you realize that with the Reachmen bearing down on us, I have a great many matters to attend to. I absolutely do not wish to be rude, but I must be going. Come back another time, and I will endeavor to answer all your questions. All right. If you cannot be convinced to let this go. You must understand, 
Desperate times call for desperate measures. If those Reachmen take this city, they are going to kill every man, woman, and child. Anything is better than that. Hear me out. A few weeks ago, Imperial diplomats made an offer. They have a deal with the Reach. If we surrender the city to Imperial authority, the Reachmen cannot attack. Not only will we survive, but we'll also retain considerable autonomy. We don't have a choice, and at this point, you don't either. Steps are being taken as we speak, and there's nothing you can do to stop us from moving forward. You don't even have any proof with which to raise an alarm. As I said before, the Bulsay Queen is off-limits to all but its crew and the city guard. You've given me no reason to trust you, so at this point, I think I'll say no more. Hey, you! What are you doing slinking around my ship? Pony boat! Pony business! I want to see what's in the hole, too! Hmm. Crows on the ship, with the crews on the shore. South Rutten City Wall. One carries the key to open the door. Approach with care, though. Drunk sailors can be salty! I don't remember inviting you aboard. Make your business quick, or you'll be picking seaweed out of your teeth. No, you don't, and I don't mean to let you. Only crew and special guests down there. Anyone else goes down, they'll get cut. Go ahead, then. Take it. Go down there and get yourself killed. It's no skin off my back. I think perhaps I had our assignments wrong. I should have checked the stocks and sent you to check the ship. I shouldn't have come here on my own, but I had a feeling the Duke was making bad decisions. Of course, calling this a bad decision would be an understatement. If we don't do something, he's going to hand the city over to Imperial control. The Queen is going to have to take charge. If this doesn't knock her into her senses, I don't know what will. We need proof, though. Can you untie me and then look around? Anything to prove what they're planning. I'll meet you out on the docks. You just missed it. The ship's captain left the ship and headed toward that alley to the south. She looked like she was in a hurry. What did you find, though? Anything that reveals more about their plans? The gorbellied bastards! I knew that ship was carrying more than just supplies. We need to move fast. Can you follow the captain and find out what she's up to? Then take the proof to the Queen. If this doesn't wake her up, nothing will. I'll go and find Sir Jarnet and any other guards who remain loyal. After you've informed the Queen, come and meet me outside the inn. Your cargo's unloaded, and I'm here for payment. I hope you don't come to regret this, Huron. If I come to regret this, I'd probably be dead anyways. I don't expect you to understand, Captain. Here's your payment. Thanks. When are you and your allies making your move? I want to make sure I'm long gone by then. We're well, arming everyone up at the weapons cache in the South Alley in just a few hours. So I'd set sail right away. Kind speed you, Captain. Somehow I had a feeling I'd see you again. Tell me. Has Glerica gotten herself into trouble this time? Or is it that the Duke didn't take kindly to you questioning his decisions? Oh, come now, you can't expect me to believe that. Has Glerica resorted to trying to deceive me now? <laughs> this is a jest, right? Surely, 
Duke Renchant would never even consider such a thing. I can't believe what I'm reading. How could Renchant be such a fool? Has he given up on defending the kingdom and decided to accept the lesser of two evils? This is simply mad! Of course not, though I can blame myself no less. I'm the one who trusted the fool. He's apparently just a damn coward. You know, Aemond told me Renchant was naive. You've now given me proof of this fact. If the Imperials take Bankrai, it will be a fatal blow to the Covenant. We can't allow Renshin to do this. Damn it, he's leaving me no choice but to take back the throne. I know Glerica will be pleased to hear that. Where is she, by the way? Smart girl. She always has been. I suppose I should have listened to her. Very well, we need to do this smoothly. The city has suffered enough. We don't want a battle in the streets. We need to take time to do this right. How much time do we have? Gods, there goes that idea. You must root out these spies right away then. Do not use weapons though. That will cause a panic, and I don't want that. Find Glerica and Sir Jarnet and figure out another way. After you've ensured the city is safe, meet me in the castle, and we'll deal with Duke Renchant. The poor fool probably doesn't even realize he's committed treason. May the gods keep you, my courageous friend. Friends, foes and fools, hard to know which is which, or who is who. Choose poorly and wind up dead. A witness I was, and nothing more. But if a crow can spy someone, so can a spy. But you know the true threat now. Imperials! Now you must listen to me. You, Ella, they call me. Those that follow. From the reach we come to conquer this land. But the enemy of an enemy is a friend. So I am a friend. I, my reachmen march this way. Evermore will be ours. But not if Imperials have it! They are a threat right now for you and me. You need friends. Let us be friends, then, and join together to beat our common foe. Temporary truce. Neither wants ever more Imperial. We work together, destroy the Imperials, then we are enemies again. I like it not myself. But you have no one to help you now. The only choice for either of us is to work together. You cannot strike down spies, but my crows can. Pretty little pets. Mark our foes, signal my crows, and we will strike. We will clean the city of Imperials. Then we are enemies again. The rumors about the Empire enslaving civilians are co Ah, did you hear the voice of reason and come to listen more closely? The Reachmen are at the city's doorstep. Something must be done, must it not? Simple. Surrender the city to Imperial control. If the Imperials have evermore, the Reachmen cannot attack. You will survive, and even better. Surrender now, and we promise you will remain free. I liked you, friend. I did. I'm sorry it had to come to this. Can you believe this? The Duke's apparently run off to avoid facing me. After what he's done, I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Tell me, though, is the city safe? Have the Imperial spies been dealt with? Excellent. 
then dealing with the rat I let into the castle is all that remains. If we can just find whatever hole he scurried into. No, oh, but what about Sir Jarnet? Glarica? All three of you deserve a medal after this is done with. No. <laughs> Glarica. Glarica is gone? But why? She was an innocent young girl. I knew the Imperials were heartless, but do they have no honor at all? Wretch it. He's responsible for this, too. Where is that bastard? Yes, he's actually most likely to be down in Eamon's private rooms. Unworthy swine that he is. Will you come with me? I could call the guard, but it might be better if you and I just deal with this quickly and quietly. Wretched, you bastard. I rue the day I gave you the throne. What you've done is nothing less than treason. Welcome back, Argella. Good work. First, you ran this kingdom into the ground. Then, you dumped it into my lap. Now, the two of you repay me by sabotaging my plans and destroying any hope we had of surviving the Reachman attack. Of course they were. Have you seen the Reachman's numbers? You think you can take them all on yourself? You cut off one head, but there are thousands more, and they are barbarians. You've doomed the people of this city to a fate worse than death. Whatever it was, the alternative was death. Listen, there's nothing more to say. If you expect me to apologize and plead for mercy, you're out of luck. I was doing the right thing. Lock me up if you must, but I don't deserve death. Very well then. Argella, my fate is in your hands. You know I made the only rational choice. I wouldn't call it rational, Renchant. I would call it cowardly. Ammond died defending this kingdom, and you'll die for betraying it. Now that he's been dealt with, we have real work to do. Please, meet me outside. Thank you for dealing with that situation. I know it wasn't pleasant, but life just isn't always a pleasant thing. Certainly not in my case. Nevertheless, we have responsibilities we cannot simply ignore. Glarica taught me that. And you, of course. Uh, I know. I feel partially responsible for her death. But if I give in to remorse or sorrow, I would be doing her a dishonor. From now on, I'm going to honor Eamon's legacy, rule as he would have, as he and Glarica would want me to. No matter what the future holds, Evermore is deeply indebted to you, as I am too. In times like these, we all need a hero like you, to remind us that no matter how bad things get, there's always hope. Tell the Queen the truth. Her reign will soon end. We are enemies again, you and I. The Imperial's tricks are undone, but your stone city will still fall. Through Crow's eyes, I spy your weak defenses. These lands belong to the Reach, and we will soon sweep through. You don't need a Crow's eyes to see this. Use your own. Look north. If you do not spy my armies now, you will soon. Count your blessings, though. Death at a Reachman's hand is more merciful than enslavement at an Imperial's. The sooner your fate is accepted, the better we will all feel. I am queen of these lands, not that weak woman over there. Tell her the truth! After the city's sat, I'm going to peck out her eyes! I hope you'll forgive me for being blunt, but under the circumstances, there's no time for social niceties. I am still in awe of what you've done to save the city, but did I just see you talking to a crow? So that's why all these crows have descended on the city? Gods, I knew it wasn't a coincidence. Fine, I'll give every guard a bow. I think it's time for us to do some bird hunting. First though, if you spoke to their leader, what did she say? I see, not really much of a surprise. The Reachmen are bearing down on North Glen already. We've already sent every soldier we can spare, 
but there's little chance of turning the tide of battle. Your presence there might make all the difference. Once you get there, I'm sure the Reachmen won't know what hit them. Look for Sergeant Antive in North Glen. He was just sent there, but with Captain Huron dead, he's one of my most senior officers. I suppose I'll need to give him a promotion. Where are those scouts? Look here. If it isn't Strasnox Bane. Have you come down to lop off a few more Reachman heads? There are plenty to go around down these parts. Smart woman. Damn glad she's back in charge. Who'd have thought Duke Renchant was going to sell us all out? Guess he got what was coming to him. We've got Reachmen to worry about now. Captain Garecroft's in charge here. You should talk to him. I'm expecting you to come back here with at least a few Reachmen heads hanging from your belt. We can mount them on the city walls. I wonder what Captain Huron did with old Strasnok's head. We should get that one up there too. She said that? Well, I'll be an Argonian's uncle. I thought I'd be sergeant forever. Maybe I can afford that new mace after all. Assuming we beat the Reachman and the Queen stays true to her word. I trust her though. I hope you're here to help me. Dureg and his Dark Witnesses attacked without warning. My best scouts go to gather information. Only two returned. Isabeth disobeyed orders to look for them, and now she too is overdue. What else could go wrong? Any help is welcome. Isabeth was last seen advancing toward the chapel to look for Hatmi. The scout's mission is to recover information and rescue civilians. We can't let the invaders reach Evermore. Take this concoction Elgeny made. It heals and conceals, according to her. If they're injured, they'll need it, but it only lasts so long. They must come here straight away, or risk the effects wearing off. You're no Reachman. Stindar's finally seen it fit to grant me a little mercy. He did? Not Isabeth? I'd hoped she'd gotten the others to the camp by now. She rescued a Weiris, and a villager named Laetil. The Weiris said they're holding an area beneath the alien ruins. Isa said she'd go and see about an alliance. I told them to leave me here. I'd only slow them down with these wounds. Yes, one of the women of the woods. I was taught never to trust them, but Isa thought they could help us retake Northglen and keep the Reachmen out of Evermore. She might still be with them on the shore. There's an entry to the ruins there. Thank you. I hope to see you back at the camp. Another one. Curious. What do you want? She was here. She returned our sister to us, so we are in her debt. The other has a sickness within her, of an unknown kind. We will keep the sick girl away from the land, lest she spread an incurable disease through our woods. If you're curious, speak to Weiris Delphique. She's within the ruins. Weiris Asteria let you in? I trust she had good reason. What drove you to seek me in this house of stone? Ah, you seek this child. She goes nowhere. She's infected and I must determine what it is she carries inside her. It's a seed for certain, though what the Dark Witnesses have cultivated in the fields of North Glen is a mystery. I've one last attempt at a cure. You're just in time to witness the results. Watch and remember what you are about to see. First, I'll expose the corruption. Look, you can see it plainly. Now to see if I can purge it. 
foul creature. Be gone. Well, that didn't go as planned. Disturbing, to say the least. So the Dark Witnesses would turn us all into their puppets to reinforce their army and take Evermore. We can't allow that to happen. I tried to draw out the evil, but my spell agitated it. Transformed her into one of those abominations roaming North Glen. Small wonder we've seen no prisoners. They've turned them. And as their army grows, so does the threat on the Viridian Woods. The Evermore soldiers? And why should we trust them? If we left the Viridian Woods, they'd cut down our trees in days, and mine the land with no regard for the life harbored there. Take this rune to wither the Reachman's markers in the fields, then cut off Dureg's head. Prove yourself on our side as well. And I'll meet the captain Isabeth spoke of. She left, said she had to search the farmhouses. Are you stalling, or do you truly believe we can trust the soldiers of Evermore? Isabeth spoke of an alliance too before she left. Well, you can finish her work. Will you take Dureg's head or not? Luck be with you. We'll journey to the Evermore camp if you complete the job. We're closely tied to the land, so we'll know when you've been successful. to go. Oh, for the love of Mara, I didn't think I'd see the end of this day. Did Captain Garrowcroft, my father, send you? I know Durake's plan. He has stores of seeds he plans on using to turn the innocent into pawns for his army. You must destroy the stores. With Dureg out of the way and his weapon destroyed, it will leave this army without a leader and a plan. I'm badly injured. Whatever Dureg was doing to me, probably trying to implant one of those seeds like the others, has left me too weak. You need to go. Finish the mission without me. Besides, if he was successful, I may compromise everything. Perfect. One of El Jenny's, I bet. This will do nicely. Father! Yes, sir. Scout Isabeth. You put this company at risk by disobeying orders. Thanks to our new ally here, the Weird agreed to help us drive out the Reachmen. I hope you... Weir is still feek. What is the meaning of this? I thought as much. Captain Garecroft, your scout is infected. Kill her if you wish to maintain this alliance. I won't kill her based on your word. Then trust your new ally's word. I'll make my own judgment. I don't take orders from you. Father, stop! So it's true. I'm infected. That must be why Elgeny's poultice didn't fully heal me. I wasn't conscious for a while after they captured me. He had time to... to... Is what Weera Delphique says true? Everything I've been through... for this? And my own father won't even acknowledge me as his daughter. But it's worth it, right? My life for an alliance that will save Evermore. I'll let Delphique know I'm ready. I'm sure she won't hesitate, and my father won't stop her. Evermore has always taken priority for him. 
Evermore and duty. Maybe I follow in his footsteps after all. I've made my decision, Father. Isabeth, don't be foolish. You can't think straight. No, Father. I've never been so clear. We're a Stelfeek? Do it. Now, before I change my mind. Isabeth! The weird expect an alliance now after they murder my daughter in cold blood? They're lucky I don't have them all killed here and now. After what the weird did to my daughter, the weird has killed her without hesitation. I can't have that unpredictability among my soldiers. Isabeth was a foolish girl. I should have disciplined her better. Made her stronger. She never followed orders. I knew this way of life would get her killed. How can I possibly consent to this alliance with her blood on their hands? Yes. Evermore needs this alliance. But I need... Isabeth's sacrifice will be remembered. You've proven yourself as a great ally to Evermore. I'll agree to this alliance. Together, we'll drive out the Reachmen. Even together, my sisters and these soldiers can only prevent these Reachmen from advancing further south. Defeating the Dark Witnesses for good will require that someone goes deeper into their territory to kill the Hagraven, Yuella. With the Crows as her spies, Yuella is everywhere. But the Hagraven's physical form is assuredly deep in Reachman-held territory. My sisters have been searching for her, but it will take time. The foul creature has wards that block weird magic. You would venture up to Jackdaw Cove? Yuella's influence has corrupted everything there. It's wretched, but if you are willing, I will not try to dissuade you. Search for my sisters near Jackdaw Cove. Perhaps with your help, Yuella can be destroyed. Keep your distance, outsider. The last thing we need is some rock-brained city dweller bumbling around. Darkness dominates this part of the forest. Yuella the Hagraven and her Reachmen are encamped here. For now, at least. She did? I find that hard to believe. Delphique knows how I feel about outsiders. Regardless, whatever your reasons for coming, they'll have to wait. Right now, we are in no position to offer anyone aid. And certainly not a city dweller. Yuella the Hagraven and her Reachmen have taken over this part of the forest. And everything here, including the Weiruses, are weaker as a result. Where they travel, the forest slowly withers and dies. We will drive Yuella and her dark witnesses from here, or we will die. Unfortunately, the old hag is no stranger to weird magic. She has constructed foul totems that suppress our power. You expect me to trust one such as you? Hmm. Perhaps, if one of my sisters keeps an eye on you. Weiris Rashan is young, but she will do. Rashan returns shortly from scouting. If you really wish to help us, she can join you to destroy the totems. Here she comes now. Rashan, we have a volunteer to destroy Yuella's totems. We aren't in the habit of trusting outsiders, but the suffering of the forest seems to have softened my sister's heart. If you really wish to help us, I suppose that's an offer we can't refuse. It won't be easy. First, you will need to destroy Yuella's totems. They keep us from drawing on the power of nature for our magicka. The Reachmen guard them closely, but I'll fight at your side. No spells, but I've got sharp claws and a mean bite. I do what I do for the forest, not for you. There are three totems, just a bunch of strung-together sticks for you, but they're like poison to me. I can't get too close, so it's all on you to destroy them. All right? Are you ready? Whoa. 
I can actually feel the forest again. This is good. The natural order is re-emerging already. It's still very weak, though. It has to be nurtured back to health. She has to die. Until Yuella's gone, the corruption remains. Her blood is the nurture the forest needs. Whoa. My magicka is returning, and it's making me lightheaded. Meet me over at the old tower. I need to get my bearings. Vandal! Destroying my art! You will regret! Playing with the little girls of the forest. A game with me, though, many have come to regret. How exactly? Does my new playmate plan to win? Tell <laughs> me! <laughs> to kill Yuella! You must find her first! I can reach you, but you cannot reach me! <sighs> Where I am is a secret only a crow can know. And the crows call for your death, not mine. Come after me, and the last sight you will see will be a black beak pecking out your eyeballs. Listen, I, I was wrong to be so hard on you before. You've certainly proven now that you deserve my trust. I appreciate your help more than I can express, especially if you'll see this thing through. You did? <laughs> well, I guess we got the old hag's attention. Maybe we put the foul thing on the defensive. Of course, she probably has layers upon layers of protection. I don't even know how to find her. I don't suppose you have any inkling? The poor crows. She's taken complete control of them. Their spirits are helpless. They can only watch what happens to their physical forms from the nature realm. She does have them coming and going, though, so they would know where to find her. As a matter of fact, now that I can draw on the power of nature again, there is. I can take you into the nature realm, not in that form, of course, but it would allow us to talk to the crow's true spirits. Do you trust me? Nice to be able to travel between this realm and the physical realm. I'm stuck here. Yes, I'm stuck here. If she were here, I'd peck her eyes out. No, she's not in the nature realm. But of course, you can't reach her in the physical realm. Maybe one of the other crows knows more. We can dispense with the small talk. I know why you're here. Even in the nature realm, news travels fast among crows. Getting to Yuella is impossible, though. Even if you break her wards, entering her domain will corrupt your soul. Well, why didn't you just say so? That would work. There is something different about you, isn't there? Yuella's lair is in the island tower. Break the wards in the physical realm, but enter the door from here. Don't tell her I told you, though. This looks like the place. I guess you're the one who's going in. Here I was, just starting to feel like you're one of the pack, and now we have to part ways. Obviously, I'll have to be the one to break the wards on the door. It doesn't seem fair. You get to go in and chew the old hag's face off. I don't think so. Her lair's actually in the physical realm, so you'll assume your physical form. Probably not so much chewing, I suppose. That's good, though. You'll need your hands. After the crone's dead, you'll have to get her nasty little heart. When I said her blood was the nurture that the forest needs, I meant that, literally. She's the source of the corruption here, so we need her heart to perform the ritual to cleanse the forest. 
So, are you ready to go get it? There, back in the physical realm. Time to do this. All right, the door should be open now. Go get me that heart. Voices, no more restraint. Bodies and minds together again. The crows of Jackdaw Cove are in your debt. Yes, free and feasted. The Hagraven was all skin and bones, but what's there is sweet to eat. So thank you for saving us, and thank you for supper. The Reachmen must have sensed Yuella's death. They started to panic and fight amongst themselves. Made them easy pickings for me and my sisters. Now, the heart. You do have it, I hope. You see all the giant vines choking the life out of everything here. The ritual will purge the area of their evil presence. It's necessary for the land to heal. Why are you stalling, though? You've grown attached to those vines? Actually, hold on to it. I have an idea. We're as Freda will howl, but I think you've earned the honor. Let us begin the ritual, and once we've penetrated the earth, you can throw the heart into the circle to complete the spell. All right, sisters. Let us begin the ritual. It's your moment. Go ahead. Throw the heart into the circle. Who would have guessed it would be an outsider who would show up and kill Yuella? I doubt this means we'll start inviting families from Evermore out to visit, but maybe, just maybe, we can be a little more friendly. I, for one, I'm as grateful to you as the flowers are to the sun. You brought life back to these lands when it was nearly choked out. Though we may never officially call an outsider a friend, I think we can at least consider you an ally. Well, I expect you won't be returning anytime soon to enjoy my sister's hospitality, and I can guarantee we won't run into each other on some city street. So I guess this is goodbye then. Of course, I'm sure she'll be happy to see you. I didn't think about it before, but I suppose this means the Reachmen are no longer a threat to Evermore either. All right. Well, if you ever come back to this neck of the woods, we'll kill you. <laughs> I'm only joking. We're as humor again. Go on now. May her scene bless your hunt wherever it may lead you. Praise the Eight. I can't tell you how delighted I am to see you. First, the Reachman advance stopped. Then the crows flew away, and now you're back. I have a feeling you bring good tidings. Amazing. What seemed like a hopeless situation has turned around completely. Believe it or not, I have good tidings to share with you, too. Imperial Magus General Septima Tharn is requesting a parlay. I'm hoping it's to discuss a peace settlement. No, I wouldn't put anything past the Imperials. I'm optimistic, but not naive. That's why I've been delaying the meeting. I want you there, just in case. We'll also have members of the Fighters and Mages' Guilds on hand, if we need them. 
Now that you're here, we can get on with it. Gabrielle is joining us from the Mages Guild, and Darian from the Fighters Guild. I suppose you want to discuss strategy with them. When you're ready, just ask Gabrielle to open the portal. Ha! Huh. I thought we were in for a bit of easy coin with this job until the Queen said you were coming along. Now I know to expect danger. Bring it on, though. If the plan goes awry, that just means we get extra hazard pay. For us, it's just sticking by the Queen. If the Magus General starts chanting, we go for the windpipe. If things really go to oblivion, we'll be shielding the Queen until Gabrielle can get us all out of there. I can tell you this much, with all due respect for the Royal Guard. Queen Argella could not be any safer than she will be under my protection. I look out for the ladies, you know. Queens included. Surprised to see me? Sounds like I already missed some interesting experiences. A Hagraven controlling crows? I want to see that. This business has potential, too. Of course, our part only comes into play if there's trouble. Let's hope there isn't. We'll be in position above the Parley site. If the Imperials try anything, we'll make sure they regret it. The three of us can cast spells to rain down fire, ice, lightning. We have it all. You'll just need to tell us where to target our spells. I hope so, because we're going to spread out and each cover a different area. If anyone comes, we'll call it out, but we'll wait for you to direct us. Whenever you're ready to go to the Parley site, let me know and I'll open a portal. Let's hope that creating portals is the only magic we need today. Excellent. I'm going to open one portal directly to the Parley site for the Queen and the Fighters Guild members, and another to take us above. Actually, I guess we should go first. Now, which portal was which? Oh, I remember. Here we go! Give me a moment here. It takes a lot of energy to open a portal over this distance. That should do it. Enter when ready. We'll be right behind you. Good. Looks like everyone ended up in the right place. Let's get to our positions. The Queen should be here any moment. I hope, at least. Clear! Take up positions! I don't like this. Where's the Magus General? It's not like a Tharn to be late. Impatience is hardly the mark of a strong ruler, your majesty. When you're a queen, you're welcome to set a finer example, Magus General. That's one honor I do not seek. What I do seek is the unconditional surrender of Evermore. You came all this way just to make absurd demands? I'm surprised. Hardly absurd, Argella. I tried the soft approach with the Duke, but you spoiled that effort. I've come to make one final offer. Surrender, or you will die. Your threats carry little weight, Septima. Bankerai Garrison still stands between us, and it does not fall easily. Or did you miss that in your history lessons? Those who hide in the shadows of the past are crushed when its structures come tumbling down. Bankerai Garrison has already fallen. My legionnaires walk its battlements even now. Is this another one of your lies? I don't care. It's clear you want a war. And if that's what you want, you can have it. <clears throat> what? Uh, she's not even here. It's an illusion. Ha! Just remember, you struck first, Argella. Seventh Legion, attack! Ambush! Defend the Queen at all cost! Fried fire salts! They're coming, all right. Don't forget, we're looking to you to direct our spells. Don't worry about targeting over our allies. I promise, we won't fry the Queen. Everyone, call them out when you see them.
Imperials coming from that door to the south. Just keep coming. Another group from the south. That can't be the last of them. It's a break, though. I'll open a portal to get us down to the Queen. My magicka is almost depleted. It's going to take all I've got to open a portal back to the palace. Be ready. Can't you cast any faster, Gabrielle? The Imperials can. More portals opening up. The portal to Evermore. Go, your majesty. Go! should be glad we got away, but I'm too angry to think. They've taken the garrison? The brutish swine. If there is one thing I do before I die, it's going to be spitting on the corpse of that cowardly wench Septima Tharn. Were we? Where are Darian and Gabrielle? I, I thought they were coming right behind us. Damn it. I would not have them sacrifice themselves. Not for me, at least. Surely they're still coming. That... That could have gone better. I didn't think I had another portal in me. Glad I was wrong. Well, at least some of us survived. It seems the crows have departed from Evermore, but the Black Cloud hasn't. With Bankrai Garrison taken, there's nothing stopping the Imperials from marching here. I didn't retake the throne to watch the kingdom fall, though. We'll find a way. I know you will. I'm counting on it. Without you, this castle would already be flying Imperial banners. You've saved the kingdom. And now, it's Queen. If there's one person I believe in, it's you. Still, I don't know how we're going to do it alone. Fortunately, you won't have to. Emmerich! I mean, your majesty. Thank the gods. I've just been informed of what's happened at Bankorai Garrison. It seems my timing is impeccable as ever. So you're the one who's been helping my cousin Argela hold the kingdom together? Of course. And now you will have some help. I've brought as many Lion Guard as I could muster. We were hoping to spill some Reachman blood for old time's sake, but the Imperials will suffice. Are you ready to retake the garrison, then? Excellent. I'll organize our forces and march to Bankeroy Pass within the hour. I've already sent scouts to assess the Imperials' defenses. 
If you get there before me, look for Scout Nadira. We can finalize our plans when we're all there. All right, everyone. It's time to start making preparations. I have been watching out for you. It must be quite an honor to have the High King awaiting your arrival. King Emmerich thought you would be here ahead of him, but he has waited for you nonetheless. Not terribly long, but long enough that he has formulated a plan of attack. This plan requires someone to take quite a bit of risk. I tried to volunteer for the duty, but he insists that you be the one. So I wish you good luck, my friend. There you are. If you expected to find us scaling the walls already, I'm sorry to disappoint. Don't get me wrong. We considered taking a stab at it, but with our limited numbers, I don't really think that plays to our strengths. Well, let's see. We have this sewer entrance here that the Imperials don't seem to know about. And then, well, we have you, of course. I'm thinking to base our attack strategy around that. What do you say? Yes, sometimes victory means getting dirty, and that's quite literally true here. A passage in the sewers leads to the gatehouse. If you'll open the main gate, we can get into the garrison without having to scale the walls and lose half our men. Just so you know, while you're slogging through sewage, we won't be napping out here. We'll go ahead and assault the main gate. It'll create a good distraction. It'll also mean that if you fail, we'll all die. Just so you know. Keep pushing! Drive the bastards back or put them down! I quite forgot how it feels. The rush of blood to the head, the sound and fury of battle. So what if I put on a few years? This is where I belong. I'm going to take back this garrison or die trying. I've captured a few keeps in my day and I've learned the hard way. Whoever holds the courtyard holds the keep. So I'm going to seal our grip on this space. We should also hit the barracks though, before the Imperials get their greaves on. Yes, but I'm not saying to slaughter a bunch of half-dressed soldiers. We're not Reachmen for Mara's sake. No, I'm hoping some of our knights are imprisoned there, and you can free them. We need all the swords we can get. After we've got the courtyard under control, we'll meet you up there. Oh, and if you see Septima Tharn or any of her commanders, feel free to take them down. I'd love to kill the old witch myself, but you're better qualified. Commander Atias is down the hall. He tortured us. He needs to pay. One favor I ask. If you see Commander Atias, kill him. It's a damn good thing you came out. I was just about to charge in there and find you myself. If I had died, it would have been your fault. You don't want the death of a king on your head, do you? Gods, I probably shouldn't jest like that. Not around Argella. Poor thing.
There's no telling what these twisted Imperial bastards might have done with King Eamon's corpse. He was about to be entombed here when the garrison fell, of course. The Royal Crypt. All of Bancorai's rulers are buried there, to keep eternal vigil and such. The Imperials are doing something horrific in there. It's where they've formed their last line of defense. Whatever they're doing, I need you to stop them. East, across the bridge behind me. They're just throwing conscripts at us to keep us from getting across. They'll run out of fodder eventually. But if you'll lead the charge across on your way to the crypt, we can take the bridge now. Below into the crypts, this foul icy fog rolled in. The earth shook, and those dolmen emerged from the ground beneath our feet. We retreated here to await your return. The rest you can clearly see. I'm afraid the giant Daedric anchors from the sky issue is more your speciality than my own. I'll let you lead on this one. A wise leader knows how to delegate, my father used to say. He may have died in his cups, but the man knew his aphorisms. What could be more kingly? Bankurai is my model. You cannot possibly protect it. The king of will soon be slain in Cold Harbor. Began to crumble! Knights of St. Pelin, many of your brothers and sisters died here, but this was the purchase of their sacrifice. Be grateful and be proud! Yeah. We have the bastards on the run now! Come, Margella! Come! Experience the joy of watching your enemies! Flee from battle. I'll be honest with you. I didn't think we could retake the garrison. I expected to die here. I was even looking forward to it. But my heart is filled with happiness right now. Not for myself, but for the people of Evermore. Well, of course the war is far from over, but we've won a crucial battle. Definitely gave the Imperials a black eye. And Evermore is safe. I should return there, but I have a feeling Emmerich will want to press on to liberate Southern Bankrai. Whether it's wise or not isn't for me to say. All I can say is that if Emmerich wants to push on, I hope you will go with him. It's clear that any undertaking you're a part of is more than likely to succeed.
We gave the Imperials a healthy kick in the buttocks, didn't we? I bet they don't stop running until they're behind the walls of Harlan's stand. We will have to go after them, of course. For one thing, I still haven't seen Septima. I just have to find out how the years have treated the old girl. There's also the matter of liberating Southern Bankerai. It's Covenant territory, you know. One grain of sand at a time, my friend. It's true we don't have the troops to go traipsing off into the desert, but one person can scout Harlin's stand and see if Septima's there. If, Of course, you can go to Harlin's stand. Fabulous idea. Yes, my friend. The key to driving the Imperials out of Southern Bankerai will be finding and eliminating the Magus General. If you'll track Septima down, we'll be halfway done. King Emmerich said you might be coming. The Imperials are here. Did you know this? The King and his men are preparing for an attack even now, though they are greatly outnumbered. I think it is good that you are here. Hurry along, then. You will find the King just up the road. I am going to scale this wall and try to get more details on the Imperials' defenses. I will join you shortly. Now, I almost feel sorry for the Imperials. Almost. I was wondering when you'd wander up. I knew you wouldn't let me get all the glory. Of course, I wouldn't have wanted to take any action until you were with us regardless, but I like to pretend. Anyhow, how in oblivion are you? I feel strong. I'm ready to spill some Imperial blood. This will be remembered as the place where the Imperials made their last stand in Bankorai. Despite my advisor's concerns, I decided I had to be here and lead the charge myself. Ha! Are you trying to coddle me now, too? I command you, put aside your concerns. This isn't even going to be a real contest. Each of my soldiers can take ten of theirs, and you can take a hundred. So, can we get on with this? All right, everyone. This is it. No one is allowed to die until they've taken down at least a dozen enemies. Kill as many as you can. The only exception is the Major's General. She's mine, and mine alone. Good speech, Emmerich. I can't believe you still fancy me after all these years. Let's get reacquainted then, shall we? Overconfident as ever, I see. I'm not afraid of you, Septima. To arms! Defend the King! You will not! I think we need to spend some alone time, Emmerich. Come, let's find a quiet place. Zet's tears! What has befallen? Who has slain everyone? Where's the king? Oh, merciful Mara! Please say this isn't so. I knew the king should not have come. Why should he risk his life this way? What will we do now? Someone has to go after him. No, I mean, I have scouted out all this area from the ridges above. The Imperial encampment is just over the hill, and then this temple, the Hall of Heroes, it goes on forever. She might have taken the king anywhere in all that space. The encampment. There has been much activity there in recent days. The Imperials have been going in and out of the temple. I have even seen the Magus General herself. Perhaps if you search the encampment, you will find some evidence of her plan. You are a brave soul to go after the King on your own. I applaud your courage. 
I will go to Evermore to request additional support. Then I will return. May Ruptga and all the gods be with you until then. of the gods or halls of the dead? Which is it? Is there a difference? Look, another live one. Oh, sorry. I should speak more quietly. Don't want to disturb the dead or the Daedra crawling all over this place. I find them very distasteful. Not right for this place. Not right at all. Me? I'm the keeper of the hall. I am guardian of the gate between here and there, between this place and the next. The living don't belong here. I'm supposed to keep them out, but I seem to have failed at that. Yes, especially that cruel, twisted lady Septima Tharn, I believe she is called. She has broken all the rules. I told her as much I did, but she would not listen. When she leaves, I do not think I will invite her to come back. She's in the Chamber of Passage, but it is a forbidden place. You must get special allowances to go there. This is the Hero's Hall. You will have to convince them to let you pass. Oh, they're scattered all over this place, everywhere. Getting them to talk is the hard part. They're quiet types. Been dead for centuries. Friend our hunding might listen. You'll just have to do some convincing. You have to walk us blessing, though. I hope Frandar lets you pass. I also hope he has more clarity than I do. I wonder why anyone would want to visit the Chamber of Passage, or even the Far Shores. Aren't there some shores you could visit a little closer to home? I know you, your spirit, but you belong in this place no more than the others, the invaders. Why do you come here? Why do you disturb my rest? Of all the places in this temple you do not belong, it is there you belong the least. But I sense that where the others have come to violate the chamber's sanctity, you have come to restore it. I will give you my blessing. If you prove the invaders have taken my scrolls. Four sacred writings from the Book of Circles. They describe the principles one must master in the various seasons of life. Recover the scrolls, place them on the appropriate pedestals, and earn my blessing. Seek my son spirit. Speak to Divad. I sense great determination in you, living one. But very few of the living are foolish enough to trespass in these hallowed halls. Even fewer are foolish enough to seek entrance into the Chamber of Passage. This is your intention, though, is it not? 
And you have already achieved in life that which gave me great difficulty. My father's influence, though, was only one aspect of what guided my life's purpose. In truth, it was my mother's role, the sacrifice she made, that defined my destiny. When Emperor Hira's soldiers came to arrest me, they struck my mother and she was slain. It wasn't until that moment I embraced the way of the sword. To earn my blessing, light the braziers in the chamber above in the colors to honor her sacrifice. You'll find the braziers are already lit. You must simply cycle through the colors on each brazier to match the memory of my mother's final moments. It's getting the colors in the correct order that matters. Turn and observe the moment of my mother's sacrifice. Remember it as I do. Take it into your heart and light the fires of my memory. memory. You have my blessing. Now you must seek out Makela Leki. It takes a brave soldier to enter the Chamber of Passage, but courage alone is not what defines a warrior. One has already breached the chamber without my blessing, but you come behind seeking just that, do you not? And by seeking our blessing, you show that you deserve such an honor. The one who breached the chamber, this Septima Tharn, she has strength, courage, and even wisdom, but she lacks an essential quality of a true Onsei. The answer is the key to my blessing. You will find several impressive swords in this chamber. They are only symbols of ideals, but bring me the blade a true sword singer would wield, and I will grant you entrance to the Chamber of Passage. You must think as Swordsinger would. Which blade would be most suitable for a warrior who has achieved mastery of his or her technique? Very well then. Which blade is it? Well done. A true Swordsinger would select the training sword because it is the swordsman, not the sword that matters. You understand true humility. You have my blessing. You may enter the Chamber of Passage. Heroes? Gods, Imperials, who's in charge here? You! You've earned the blessings of the heroes, but blessings will only get you through the door. Are you really ready for what lies on the other side? Something that no mortal has ever seen. Until that nasty woman went in there, of course. And who knows what she might have done to the place. I guess you'll be finding out soon enough, though. The real mystery is what's a woman like that wanting to do in a place like this? She has a prisoner, but the Chamber of Passage is not a place for holding someone. It's a place for sending someone on. To the far shores, of course. This is it. This is the path the souls of heroes take to move on to the afterlife, as some call it. Souls used to be flying through here all the time. Guess there just aren't as many heroes anymore. You think it's just an elaborate suicide plot? Afraid I don't share your optimism. But what is she doing in there? I'd say, only the gods know. 
But I don't think they do. The way I look at it, there's only one way to find out. Emmerich, your savior has arrived. Or is that your executioner? It's good that you're here, my friend. Though, I'm afraid I may be dying. You're a good friend. Courageous and loyal. And all that. But you're a terrible liar. I... I... I just wish it wasn't that wench Septima that killed me. I suppose I must say goodbye, my friend. I'll see you on the other side. Here too. Can you get us back? It's quite pleasant here, but I'm not ready to die yet. We can't let them win. Hush now, Emmerich. Your death matters little. There are other kings. It's this one I wanted. The one who's been holding the covenant together at every turn. The vestige from Kuldar. You didn't think I knew, did you? I did, and I knew I couldn't kill you. On Mundus. Here, though, you're severed from Cold Harbor, from your soul. Here, you're stuck. Goodbye now. Insolent necromancer. The Far Shores is no prison in which you can place your enemies. You dare to come here and then expect to live freely? I think not. You, though, are no less a fool. An honorable fool. A fool nonetheless. Very well, though. I have an offer. Slay this wretched woman, and you and your liege can return to the Mundus. I'll leave whenever I damn well please. But I'll enjoy teaching you both a lesson in power first. Well, that was demoralizing, wasn't it? Your death matters little, Emmerich. I can't believe she said that. I don't know, though. Is it true? That's a relief, I suppose. There's some part of me that wants to stay here, but I'd have regrets for all eternity, wouldn't I? Since I'm in the fortunate position of having a choice, I think I prefer you take me back. Were it truly your time, I might invite you to remain here in the Far Shores. You have earned the right to be here. 
It is not your time, though, so you must go. Take your liege back, restore him, and then you must all leave the Hall of Heroes. My cousin, my king, I'm sorry we failed you. There I am, still dead. So do I just climb back in? There. Easier than I thought. That knife wound still smarts, but, but it's good to be alive. That was an experience I won't be forgetting any time soon. I'd say that you went beyond the call of duty, but I think you went even beyond that. Of course, Septima was actually after you, wasn't she? I suppose so. Furthermore, I'm grateful now that Septima never returned my affections. Mara's mercy, that woman did not age well. She's irrelevant now, though, thanks to you. I suspect, however, that we can't afford to rest on our laurels just yet. We lie about like whipped dogs. Ufa drags his feet, waiting for aid. Can he not see that none comes? The Imperials hold our city. We were taken before our swords could leave the sheath. There's a traitor, my people whisper. For now, we wait. Wait for the Covenant to send help and the Imperials to tire. But you don't seem like the waiting type. I warn most against entering Holland's stand. But you might help us in our resistance. Go to the alchemist shop in town. You'll find like-minded people there. The Imperials won't let you pass in peace, but any of their blood spilt blesses the sand. A new face. What's your business? We don't see a lot of travelers these days. What brought you here? Hmm. You want to speak to Ufa, then? Too bad no one knows where he is. Even if we did, can't say he'd even want to talk to you, seeing as you're a stranger. Yara might see you, though. She's upstairs on the balcony. And don't think you can try anything. I'm not just here for my good looks. And Yara is more than capable herself. I don't think we've met, and I don't think we need to. And I hear the Imperials have spies everywhere, so why would I admit to being someone they want to kill? That said, I know one thing Imperial spies wouldn't do, arm their enemies. Across the way is a guarded warehouse. If someone took weapons from there, it'd be a blow against the Seventh Legion. And I hear the stable hand knows the people who need such weapons. Someone who did that, I could trust. What do you want? Can't you see I'm doing my work? Or are you harassing me because I don't bow my head to the ground before the Imperials? Why would I want those weapons? I'm no friend to the Resistance, or to the Imperials. I just want to work in peace. Is that so? Let me fix them for you then. There. No one will suspect you carrying a sack smelling of the stables. Ones who need these wait in and near the town square. If you're caught, we've never spoken. I name no names, but seek the poor near the town square. Ask if they've seen a cat with red fur, and there will be your answer. Who are you? Why do you bother one who has no interest in you? Go on with your business and leave me to mine. Red? I have seen such a cat, though not lately. 
Do you bring news of this Red Hunter? Or something else to ease our sorrow at its loss? A most precious gift. May the gods smile with favor upon you. I'll keep it safe until the time comes, and our mutual friend returns. And may he return soon, for all our sakes. These old eyes see you. Come, come. You did not see me, did you? No one sees the poor, the sick, the oppressed. You help these people of Holland stand, but for what? You put yourself in harm's way, but why? One of the destitute, no more. I have nothing except my eyes and ears, and I see Yara wants to trust you, but she cannot, not until now. She will look for signs of treachery and find none, but even that will not be enough. Unimportant, but here is how she will. She waits by the tavern, as she was spying on you. Go to her, clasp her hands, and tell her that the Red Asp lives. Ah, I was not expecting you. How did you... Never mind. What news have you? One of our allies passed with a peculiar bag from the stables. It's good to know you were the one to supply it. Well, then, I think it's best if we go our separate ways. Though you helped considerably, I can't take this risk again. What? How do you know this? The wind is truly at our backs. I've misjudged you. My apologies. We've been watching and waiting ever since the Seventh Legion took our city. Now's the time to act. If you'll forgive my initial rudeness, I need your help. Let me share what we know. The Seventh Legion took the town under cover overnight. Some say a traitor opened the gates to their army. It's the only explanation, but we don't know who the traitor is. We have a lead, though. Not what, but whom. I've set up a meeting with someone who may know the identity of the traitor. I'd like you to talk to her. My contact's at the tavern, just as I requested. She'll be reading a book. See what she knows, but be careful. I'll return to the alchemist shop on the other side of town once you go to meet with her. Did Yara send you? She said to meet her here. It's more of a feeling. Call it intuition. It's better if you see it with your own eyes. Can you come with me to my home? It's best to continue our conversation in private. The Imperials may know your face by now. You can disguise yourself as one of them for the time being. They don't dare raise a hand against me, so I'll be all right. If you're ready, I'd like to go now. Follow me, but be discreet. With a disguise, the soldiers won't give you a second glance, but the sentries will certainly stop you if they can. Thank you for your discretion. I'm rather concerned about what's going on in Holland Stand, but it's not a good idea to say so in public. You see, it's my husband. You misunderstand. My husband is Captain Dakir at Nimer of the City Guard. I think he betrayed us. I couldn't bear to ask him. To see the hurt in his eyes and the shame that must surely be there. But he's keeping something from me. And I fear the worst. Soon after the Imperials came, our daughter disappeared. And my husband speaks with the Imperials. Carries sealed messages back and forth. I don't know what to think. Search his office. It's upstairs. See what you can learn. I can't bear to look. How dare you go through my things? What are you doing in my home? 
Did Quatria send you? I've done everything he's asked. I won't suffer any more humiliation at his hands. Oh, Kizma. I wish I didn't have to keep such secrets from you. By Mara's heart, I don't know who betrayed us, but it was not me. I am little more than an Imperial lackey now, regardless. They have her, our daughter. The Imperials kidnapped her and hold her as a hostage. I debase myself before them for her safety, and I would do so again, if it means she will be returned to us. Now go, please. The couple despairs, but all is not lost. Nothing is without hope until the last breath. Let me tell you of their child. Come, come. The Imperial fool Quatrius believes he's invincible, and in a way, he is. If one were to raise a blade against him, his soldiers would surely cut down the child out of spite. But there are other ways to cow a man. Not how, but where. Go to the pavilion in the shadow of the palace. You are already armed, armed with the knowledge that he is a coward. With that, you must defeat him. I just want to see my mother and father again. Away with you. Can't you see I'm busy? We're simply enjoying the fresh air. After all, who would want such a flower to wilt in a dungeon? Now be gone before I have my men remove you. What? It's complete nonsense. Oh, I see your point. Well, what did you want from me? Fine, fine. Run, girl, before I change my mind. Now the guards will be back any second now. Don't think you can threaten me again. Papa! This is your doing? You freed my daughter? I am truly blessed to have such aid from a stranger. With no promise of reward, you saved my family. Here, take this key. You will do far more good with it than I. The Grandea's chains. The Imperials made me capture her and bring her to them. I fear they want to publicly execute her in order to cow the citizens. If anyone can save her, it would be you. A thousand blessings upon you. Seems you've poked a hornet's nest. I hope whatever you did was worth it. They have the Grandea? That is troubling news. You've been busy then. But what news of the traitor? Do you know his identity? You are mistaken, friend. Master Ufa, you're truly alive. Did I not send word with our friend here? I spoke to the captain after you left. He was more than willing to help after the good turn you gave him. The traitor is well within our grasp. Don't you recognize the old beggar without his rags? <laughs> I've been following you for quite a while. Even my own followers suspected nothing. Dakir and Kizma will never forget what you've done for them. You've been a great boon to the Resistance. Once we have the traitor in our hands, we'll have all the pieces we need to assault the Seventh Legion. The Captain's men know how to find him, but I don't know where these men are, or if they're still among the living. They won't work with me, but may consider you an ally. You must find them before the Imperials do. Seek Aisha, Nasira, and Runeed. Their peril is our opportunity. I'm sure they'd rather work with us than with the Imperials. Ask about, search houses, but above all, be discreet. What do you want with this old woman? Everybody knows Aisha caught the rat in the act. She was boasting about it in the town square right up until the Imperials flooded in. If you're looking for her, I'd check her home. The Imperials might have gotten there first though. Oh. Oh. <laughs>
Someone who knows what they want, yes? How can Nazir be of service? There are people all around us. Particular ones, this one cannot say. Not without some convincing. Ah, you are a smart one. I can tell you many good townspeople remain inside their homes. Some out of fear. Others await news. Perhaps they wait inside for news from you. You will have to find out the rest on your own, I fear. I wondered if someone would find me before they finished me off. He's a womanizing piece of scum who'd sell his own mother to make a few coins. Ask at the tavern for Niha, his latest courtesan. She'll tell you where he is. I should have slit his throat when I had the chance. I thought I'd find him nearby, but I was wrong. You don't look like one of the Seventh Legion. Why have you come? He's in hiding, the rat. He is named Maradem. You'll have to find a way to lure him out into the open if you wish to find him. I saw him at the tavern a few times. The snakeskin suds. Check there. Someone there is bound to know something. Not my usual type, but business is slow. What can I do for you? Perhaps. Many know Maradem. Not many will admit to it. I've met him once or twice, but I don't know where he is now. Do you know what would happen to me if I betrayed Maradem? Or any of my contacts? No, I can't help you. Now go away before someone sees us talking. You have little choice, Nia. Ufa, you're alive. Did you see his name? Niha will help, for the good of us all. But I understand her fear. We must be cautious on her watch. If anyone suspected her involvement, that would mean her end. We still need information from the wretch. Fortunately, I know of a simple way to extract it. Across the way lies the Mage's Guild. Talk to a man named Razin. Ask him for his specialty. It's a potent sedative only he makes. I'll set a trap for Maradem with my dear Niha's help. Once you have the powder, take it to the Drowsy Owl Inn upon the hill and get the rest of the details from her. You can see your destination from here if you need to get your bearings. Something I can help you with? I'm rather preoccupied, so make it quick. I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm just a simple apothecary, friend. The rogue. Sometimes I wish the Imperials did find him. Here's your powder. It'll paralyze in a matter of moments after being ingested. Take care you don't breathe it in. Have you got everything you need? There's a bottle of wine in the alcove for you, though I've no idea what you'll do with it. I'll serve it to Mardem, and then you and Ufa can do what you must. But after that, I'll have no part in what comes.
Wait here. I brought you refreshments, sir. Niha! Always so good to me. Let's taste this fine concoction. A strange flavor. What kind of wine? Who are you? What have you done with Niha? What was in that wine? How dare you? Whoa. What's happening to me? D did you poison me? Please, give me an antidote. I'll tell you anything. She's in front of the palace. I have the key for the stocks, but they guard her exceptionally well. They'll execute her within the week. That's all I know. Now please, give me the antidote. I'll give you the key. Bleating like a cut lamb, I see. Ufa, I thought you were dead. That was the intent. Get the key off his body and leave him. Good. I'm free. Let the people know the time has come. themselves for battle. We will hold the palace while you take out the Imperial within. We must all move quickly. She's in no shape to fight. I can't imagine what torture she must have endured under the Imperial's reign. You are our symbol, friend. Our symbol of freedom. There's no time to waste. We must strike now, but the Imperials will have time to make preparations. Go inside, and slay that Imperial Sadas Secundus like the dog she is. We don't know what kind of forces she has with her. We're counting on you. I've heard a lot about you. Finally, we meet in person. Old. I like that. It's unfortunate you've picked the wrong side. The Legion needs more soldiers with that kind of attitude. No matter. Holland Stand will be our stronghold in the Covenant, and no upstart shall challenge that. Did you think I'd let anyone walk in here unchallenged? You are a fool, as are the rest of them. I'll enjoy watching you die. Surrender. Your life is forfeit. I'll make you an example to these dogs. Seventh Legion will be our prey. The Imperials had no chance. We took them by storm, and without their leader, they had nowhere to turn. What few are left will fall easily. You were the linchpin for it all. The Grand Air will have something to say too, no doubt. Here she comes now. Proud people of Holland Stand. We have won the day. A stranger to our city was the spark 
Let us never forget this, or those who fell in the fight. And here is the savior of my people, my city, and me. We are all in your debt, friend. We must rebuild. The Imperials tore apart our fine city, but we will rise from the sands. You have given us this chance. Forever will Holland Stand remember your work and your sacrifices. <laughs>